Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Over the past month, I've been messing around with arrow and anvil cannons, trying to come up with a weapon of mass destruction. However, while they look very imposing, the chance of actually being hit by one of these weapons is very slim. My testing in this area of the game was not fruitless, and I ended up designing a contraption with a much more practical application. Well, as long as you consider aesthetic design practical. Most of you are probably familiar with the simple hidden crafting bench mechanism. I decided to make a system that achieves a similar effect for the anvil. As a consequence, it works with any block affected by gravity, except for concrete. Unfortunately, my design uses water, and concrete and water don't work nicely together. However, this redstone machine also makes for a great way to display the dragon egg. If you're interested in building this in your own Minecraft world, I'll now go through the process of making it. For resources, you'll need the items in this chest. For starters, you'll want to clear out an area beneath your floor 8 blocks high, 9 blocks wide, and 6 blocks deep. This hole must be centered around a soul sand block that sits 6 blocks from the left side of the hole, and 4 blocks in from the front side. You can use the soul sand block as a reference for where your anvil will appear above the ground. Place 5 blocks of glass upwards around the soul sand block. Then, on the left side, above the bottom two glass blocks, place three dispensers vertically. On the right side, directly opposite these dispensers, place a piston facing into the middle dispenser. You can then fill these dispensers with water buckets. Next, you're going to want to place a redstone torch facing into the piston with a pulse extender behind it. The redstone repeaters are set to 1 and 4 ticks. Place redstone dust in front of and behind these repeaters. Next, go up a block and place redstone dust on it with an observer facing out of the dust. Take a repeater output from this observer and set it to 2 ticks. You can place your lever on the block above your redstone dust. This should be your floor level. Then, out from your repeater, place a piece of redstone dust that leads into a comparator. Place another comparator facing the opposite direction, then surround them in redstone dust. This pulse extender keeps the pistons retracted for long enough to let the anvil fly out when the machine is operated. Go down a block and place dust on it. Then go up a block and place a redstone torch facing vertically. Out from this torch, take a repeater output set to two ticks then place a block that leads into two sticky pistons. Place a sticky piston facing vertically on the bottom piston. Back at the redstone torch, take a long output that leads into the vertical sticky piston. Next, you'll want to take the redstone from behind the repeater you placed earlier and take it down two blocks into a repeater set to two ticks. Then place an observer facing out into the middle dispenser. We can now test the machine. I'll grab my lever I forgot earlier, and a block that will sit flush with the floor, and an anvil. Make sure you place your anvil or other gravity block on the piston, which I messed up here. We can now see that the redstone is working flawlessly. Thanks for sticking around for the entire video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one.